Hi guys, so I decided to do a quick Facebook Live. In 20 days, it will be, we'll be in the year 2018. So I thought, what, this is the best time to talk to you about some issues concerning health. That's, I'm sure you've been thinking about them, but I've been thinking about them too, okay? So my name is Lisa. I blog under domesticlifestylist.com. I blog about eating well and traveling well and dressing well as also but today I'm here to talk to you about health because when we eat well we feel well and I want to talk about specifically about some lies that you are saying to yourself about your health that I hear people say all the time actually as a matter of fact I spoke to once someone earlier today and they pretty much told me why they couldn't do certain things to make themselves more healthy Guys, you are lying to yourselves. Big lies, not little lies, big lies. And so I wanna talk about some of the lies that we feed into ourselves about why we can't stay or why we can't try to stay healthy, okay? Number one, it's an inconvenience. Well, let me tell you something. If you've ever been unhealthy, you quickly realize that not being healthy is more of an inconvenience than being healthy. Going to the pharmacy every month is an inconvenience. Going to doctor's appointments and needless doctor's visits is an inconvenience. Not having mobility is an inconvenience. You know, when you lose days from work, that's an inconvenience. So instead of telling yourself being healthy or trying to be healthy is an inconvenience, think about the inconveniences you would face if you're, you are not at your optimal health. Okay, that's the first line. Number two, the second line that we tell ourselves about staying and keeping healthy is that it's hard. Really, it's hard? I'm sure there's so many harder things that you have accomplished already that you've gone through. The degrees that you have, if you're a single parent, single parenting is hard. You know, if you have overcome so many of these diseases that take people's lives prematurely, those things are hard. But taking care of your health, no, that's not hard. That's something that you deserve. You deserve to take care of yourself because you want to be here as long as possible for your family and your friends, your loved ones, your kids. So stop telling yourself that being healthy or staying healthy is hard. It's not hard. Being unhealthy on the other hand, no, that's something that's difficult. Okay, so you want to stay healthy, you want to become healthy, but you don't want to make any changes. Really? What if I told you that you could make a um, million dollars, right? But all you had to do was nothing. Basically, you could, do, you could have the same habits that you have every day, wake up at the same time, do the same things, be around the same people, and then you would get a million dollars. Would you believe me? Would you believe that after doing absolutely nothing that you would have earned or even receive a million dollars? You would say, get out of here. That doesn't make any sense. So my thing is, how can you expect to turn around and have a healthy life without making any changes? If anybody comes to you and said, hey, I can help you, you know, turn around your life, give you a healthier life without making any changes, you really should walk the other way. Because I'm not going to lie to you. There's going to be sacrifices that you make. You're going to have to eat differently. Your schedule may look different. The places that you go to or you eat may be different. The people that you hang around may be different. So if you're telling yourself that you want to be healthy but you don't want to make any changes, it's not going to stick. Okay? So be prepared as you walk in this journey, whether it be today, whether it be a couple days from now or 11 days from now, be prepared that you're going to have to make changes. And so the only way that we get things of reward is to make changes. Big changes lead to big rewards. You're too busy. That's the other reason. People want to get healthy, but they're too busy to be healthy, to exercise, to eat well, to prepare the meals. You know what I say to that? Then you really don't want to be healthy. You have to get to the place that you're motivated enough that those inconveniences, or you call them inconveniences, right? We call them inconveniences. You have to be motivated enough that the inconveniences of being healthy trump, trump what you're doing right now, right? So you can't be too busy to be healthy. Because here's the thing, I speak to people all the time. They have time for Netflix, they're on Facebook all the time, 24 seven. A picture can't go up without liking or commenting, so they're always on Facebook. Netflix has all their favorite shows all trumped up. 
they always in some community, you know, helping their children or whatever, which is fine. But if you have time for everyone and everything else, then you have time for your health. Stop telling yourself that you don't, you know, you're too busy to be healthy. Because here's the thing, a lot of times when people have a wedding to go to, a party, big birthdays coming up, hey, you're talking about, well, I wanna look fly, so I'm gonna make sure I eat right, we'll make sure I exercise because, you know, my birthday's coming up, I gotta make sure I'm fly. Well, here's the thing, you need to find the motivation, because if that's motivation enough for you, to do what you need to do to be healthy at that time, that means right now you actually do have the time. It's gonna come at the sacrifice of some of the things that you enjoy, yes, but being healthy is so important. It is so important. It's something that you can't wait for January 1st to do. It's something that you can't wait for the family reunion to decide that you're gonna get healthy. You can't wait until, well, I'm gonna make 40 and I'm gonna be 40 and fabulous. You can't wait for that. It's something that you do right now. You do it for yourself and you do it now. So the last excuse I'm gonna talk about that people will use as an excuse not to get healthy now is, everyone has to die. Why should I deprive myself? I think that is the number one reason. Yes, and here's the truth. All of us do have to die. But what you may not realize is most people just don't kind of just die um, by walking on the street and getting hit by a car. Those things do happen, but a lot of people get sick first. They succumb to diseases and illnesses, and they're in the hospital, and they lose mobility, and they can't take care of the kids like they used to, they can't do the things that they used to, and then perhaps they're you know at a nursing home for a certain period of time because they can't take care of themselves. So my thing is, if you want to live life with finesse and vitality and just live the best life as you can. Why don't you do it on your terms? Being healthy right now and trumping the excuses is being healthy on your terms and living on your terms. So guys, that's what I wanted to pop in to say. It's been on my mind and quite frankly, it's been, um, it's been something I wanted to share for a while. But you know, God has been putting a lot of people in my life and so I keep hearing these excuses and I wanted to come on quickly and tell you why those things are excuses, why they're full of crap, and why you should stop lying to yourselves. Because you know what? You are better than that. All right, thanks for watching and listening. This is Lisa from The Domestic Lifestylist, and I want you guys to eat well and dress fly. Bye for now.